Well, citizen soldiers help support our military through their work with the National Guard. They give up one weekend a month, and sometimes that means a day off from their regular jobs. Yeah, that's right. Rarely do employers get to see what their workers do on their second jobs, but this week, some, including our boss, News 3's Mike Snuffer, got an up-close look at some high-flying jobs out of Scott Air Force Base. This is a KC-135 Stratotanker, a flying gas tank based at Scott Air Force Base in St. Clair County. On this day, a group of employers are invited to fly along. The flight crew is with Illinois Air National Guard, our citizen soldiers, including Airman Brandon Morano. Kevin, the other guy you saw, we're, we're both the boom operators. Brandon is a full-time reporter with News 3, but he's a boom operator too. More on his job in a moment. This KC-135 was built in 1959 modified over the years, but still twice the age as the air crew. Radar control panel, but you have a switch yep. is an auto. So my uh, empty control panel, radar control panel is, uh, they're all set. And uh, I got takeoff max on both sides. We're on a training mission flying over Lubbock, Texas to refuel B-1 bombers. It should be uh, smooth down to Texas. There's some storms uh, get into a MOA. That's the area we're refueling at, that's what it's called. And then uh, once we get into the MOA, uh, we'll, the B1s will literally meet us. It's called the in route rendezvous. For the passengers, only bench seats, but you do have plenty of leg room. The real business is in the back of the plane, and this is where Brandon works, controlling the boom or the giant gas nozzle. What's the most challenging part here? Uh, putting the pool in the hole. The boom operator is on his stomach, a control panel just below him. Through a small window, we see a B-1 bomber. It looks like it's floating in midair, but we're flying 300 miles an hour. Brandon has to carefully guide the boom into a fuel hole located at the nose of the B-1. He's done this many times, but it's a first for him to refuel a B-1 bomber in midair. It's also a rare experience for the passengers. It's completely blown away. I never dreamed that we'd be able to just you know, move freely about the aircraft. Matt Duffy is from Murfreesboro. He works at Country Financial, which employs many veterans and guard members. In the orientation this morning, they, they made it pretty clear how important it is for, for an employer to, to, to be okay with their employees, you know, leaving for, for extended periods of time. For the bosses on this flight, a rare glimpse at what some of their employees do away from their civilian jobs. So as an employer, what did you learn from this? that our military people are amazing. This is unique to me. I do come from a military family. I've never done this before, but definitely adding it to the bucket list. The military is depending a great deal on guard members. That dependence is growing because of the drawdown of the active duty force, meaning more citizen soldiers like Brandon will be called to guard duty more often. Reporting from Scott Air Force Base, Mike Snuffer, News 3. Definitely cool to get to see what Brandon does when he's not here. Yeah, pretty interesting job. Don't know if I could do that. Target practice. <laughs> <laughs>